Hey everybody, my expect the comics, and I'm back. This time with the video I enjoy making the most in the month, and it's my beer and comics. I also got a mail call, so uh, I'm excited to show that off. So if you guys want to see what books I got in the package and also which beer showed up, stay tuned, get yourself a nice cold one, and let's check it out. Alright, so I'm back. Um, quick update, I did send up all the packages out um, today. I had it was a little busy over the weekend, had a little hiccups at the uh, post office, so it delayed it one day. But um, everything got sent out. I messaged everybody all the tracking from uh, Thursday's auction, so uh, those should be getting there in a few days. Um, got this really cool AOK -OK from my buddy Sean. He's in the uh, Burke family chat. Um, mentioned the other day that I was looking for a couple of books and uh, he was like, oh, I'll send them over your way. I was like, oh, you didn't have to do that. So that, you know, real excited to see what's in there. Got my monthly beer call. So I'm excited to open this up. This is my um, last of the four months that I was gifted for my birthday. So uh, if you guys enjoyed watching this, let me know in the comments below. I may continue this going forward. So, um, like previous videos, it's um, 12 beers. Usually it's two, two different micro brews. And um, they have two different beers from that micro brew. So, uh, I'm excited to show these off. And more importantly, more excited to try them out. <laughs> so, uh, let's check these out. So it looks like, so they always give you the, the brochure, and um, it's going to be from Heavy Sears Beer from uh, Baltimore, Maryland, and Flying Fish Brewing Company from Somerdale, New Jersey. It looks like one of the beers is going to be a peg-like stout, so that's pretty cool. I love stouts. So uh, let's start these up. Let's go show some uh, beers. What I'm drinking, local beer, Samuel Adams, Alpine Lager, limited release. It's actually pretty telling because it's snowing today up here in New England. We got a big nor'easter. <laughs> I actually just lost power um, right before I started recording this. So, but we just got it back on. So, yeah, we're in a nor'easter. It happens. <laughs> All right. So let's show some. Uh, let's show some beers. All right. So this was the uh, Abbey Double Flying Fish Brewing Company. There we go. Nice little uh, lighthouse there. Um, so this is the Flying Fish Brewing Company from Somerdale, New Jersey. 7.2% alcohol, as it says there. And uh, like I said, never heard of this company. And it's uh, Abbey Double is um, Beacon for Award Winning Belgian Style Ales. So, uh, exceptionally complex bouquet of aromas, lights, the way for the hints of rich cherry and fig up front, accompanied by hints of chocolate and molasses in the finish. Nice little description. Alright. Second beer. Oh. Interesting. Must be um, they threw in the uh, international. So sometimes if they don't, if they can't fulfill like they did in my last month's um, uh, beer call, they'll throw in some international beers with it. International micro brews. So this one is uh, from Germany. If never heard of this company as well. Looks like Coast Striker. That's how you pronounce it. Coast Striker. It's a Shores beer, Germany's number one black lager beer. Actually, really interested in trying this. So, you don't get a lot of these small microbrew uh, German, German beers come over here. So that's really cool. And uh, let's see if there's any descriptions over here. 4.8%, which is about right for a lager. They're usually, you know, four to six. They're not really strong beers. 
All right, so let's um, take a break from that. Let's open up some of the books for my, for my buddy Sean. All right. This is probably a time where I do a little fast forwarding. Let's put these, uh, all right. Let's see, Warren Ellis, Simon Spector, number one, purple foil incentive. This is cool. Simon Spector, number one. Never seen this. Look at that. Very cool. I do like uh, Warren Ellis' writing, so I'm definitely going to read that. Ah, here we go. His, this is the book he was telling me about. The, um, this was one of the last few keys that I didn't have in the uh, Moonlight Volume 1, the original run. This is uh, issue 14. So it's the uh, first stained glass scarlet. Um, this book jumped up quite a bit a while ago because they're assuming she's going to be one of the villains in the series. Who knows if that's going to come to be or not. But because of that, I was kind of waiting for the um, spec to go away so I can get this book. But he threw it in, so that's really awesome. Thanks, Sean. I appreciate it. All right, next book. Oh, we got a little, uh, got a little Silver Age. Very nice. I don't have too many Silver Age flashes. This is flash issue number one fifty four. They said, "Whoosh!" <laughs> My super speed's gone haywire. My jet set days are over. Very nice. Um. Oh wow, we got another one in here. Flash issue number one fifty eight. Another uh, 12 center. Very cool. The battle against the breakaway bandit. There you go. This is um, Flash issue number 176. There we go. Death stalks the Flash. I, I can't resist. <laughs> These are really nice. They're really nice books. There we go. Flash number 203. A nice cover, very nice cover. Fastest man alive. I like the contrast there of the uh, realism there with the, uh, the art on the side as well. Very cool. That's nice. Flash issue. There we go. Now we're getting the forty centers. Flash issue number two eighty two. Like that. I like that action right there. Against the uh, against Green Lantern, I said he was kicking butt. <laughs> oh, this is nice. I like this one. Down and out, flash. This is uh, issue number twenty. Looks like he's uh, going through some tough times in this issue. And then, uh, oh, on the back side, issue number twenty-one. There you go with the, uh, the Manhunter. Boom. Very nice. All right. Let's take a little break. Let's uh, show the last two beers. So, uh, oh, actually, this is another uh, Coast Striker. This time, we got a Pale Ale. There you go. I'm really interested in trying this, uh, this microbrew here from Germany. This one is, so uh, let's see, a little bit stronger, 7%, really nice, cool. And then uh, the last beer, this one's from uh, Heavy, Se Heavy Seas Beer, this was that first one I mentioned, and this is the Peg Leg Stout. <laughs> Look at the label on that thing, it's got the wooden leg. And uh, I like the label there with the with the skull. That's pretty cool. This is so um, heavy seas beer from Baltimore, Maryland, and it is. I should tell you the alcohol content on there somewhere. Uh, here we go. Eight percent. Very cool. I don't see too much. Uh, no actual description of the beer on here. That's all right. 
But uh, got some interesting beers. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you've had any of those beers, um, let me know. Finishing off the uh, nice stack of books from my buddy Sean, we got um, Flash, issue number 49. Yeah, rest in peace. And there you go, iconic issue number 50. Very cool. And um, it says, The Flash is dead. Long live the Flash. <laughs> uh, let's see. And in continuation with that, we got issue number 51. It's a nice little cover. I like the, uh, with the American flag in the background there. And then to continue with that, issue number, oh wait, yeah. oh, it's duplicate. Okay, cool. Very nice. Very nice. And then, um, and we got the last book is flash number 53. Looks like he's doing another classic race against uh, Superman. And he threw in an extra copy in there as well. That's really cool. Thanks a lot, Sean. You didn't have to. You didn't have to send me all these great books. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna check these out when I get a chance and, and read some because I, I love her. I love the Flash. I'm a big fan. He's uh, my favorite DC character. So that was really cool to throw all these in there. And there's a lot of them. Really, really amazing covers. So um, I really appreciate that. So uh, let me know in the comments below if, uh, if you guys like the uh, beer and comics. I can continue that on going forward. And um, I really enjoy doing them. I like getting these real cool mysteries. It's like getting a mystery box. I like getting the mystery beers as well. Makes it fun for me. Um, so uh, hopefully you enjoy that. Um, I do got a, a upcoming um, comic haul. I picked up today, went to a store down the way and got a few books so i'll be shooting that hopefully soon so uh i'll see you next time mark spectre comics out